What about if I touch my mouth and I've got it and then I put my hand on a doorknob or something? How long can it live on a doorknob? Yeah, it can live a week. A week? Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah, it's up to a week. It depends on certain things like temperature and humidity. Um, it degrades faster in, in warmer and uh, more humid air. But at the same time, you know, we're not like Singapore happened epidemic. Singapore is 70, 75 degrees. You know, that's like 20, 25 degrees Celsius. Um, and so that still happened. But the thing is, we're mostly indoor people. Singapore epidemic happened. Uh, the super spreading event was at a Grand High Hotel, Singapore. And that hotel, you know, hotels, it doesn't really matter what the outside climate is, right? If you had an indoor conference center, or into a gym, and you get it, it doesn't matter what, what it is outside. So, you know, I think the, the, the one of the misinformation actually is about, oh, it's going to all go away when the summer comes. It's going to be too hot. Um, except we are indoor workplace kind of people, and there's something called the southern hemisphere of the earth, and then it will just go to in Africa and Australia and, you know, Indonesia – in, in, when it's winter time in the north, in the summertime in the north, and the winter time in the south. So I, I don't think that it's going to go away in the summer. Arguments it might slow down a little, but it could easily come back in the fall. Got you. Uh, that's that's the tricky part. the The virus seems to be a survivor, basically. Can containment work, or are we just past that step? Um, containment. You know, a lot of people say. WHO is still trying to be optimistic that containment can work, but I think uh, I think we we have may have to move from containment to mitigation. How know? do you do that? What's the difference? Mitigation is just um, you know reducing the number of people who are exposed, um, and no, and you know you test as much as you can, but in terms of actually stopping the virus, um, you just you mitigate its impact um, and you mitigate its spread. But containment just means preventing a community transmission event, right? Someone, if someone travels from say Iran, lands at the airport uh, and then we detect that they're sick uh, and we quarantine them, then that is contained, right? But if they can't come back, Go send uh, infects their kid, goes to daycare, child care, goes to a party, infects everyone, and they all go home and they all test positive and they all don't know necessarily where they had gotten it. It's not contained anymore. It's community transmission. And community transmission is way more dangerous than uh, a travel related thing because it means they picked it up randomly in the community of an unknown source that we can't necessarily trace anymore. <laughs> 